Hey up everyone, welcome back to Soulstorm. We're going on to the next level now, level 8, the reunion at Old Trellis. And we need to change difficulty back to EC. If you remember on Hijack, we, we actually had to change it to normal because there's a specific badge, Spender, where you have to be a normal in order to spend enough. So make sure you switch it back to EC guys and then continue. Reun reunion, excuse me, reunion at Old Trellis. So this is quite a quick one. And there's 200 and something um, Madukons on this one. So we're going to kill them all. Yes, we let 15 live, but now 250 are going to die. I hope that 15 will make up for it. I'm hoping the Lord looks down on me and forgives me for the 15 I rescued for the genocide I'm about to commit. We're about to commit. We are in this together, remember. Okay. So, yes, these little guys, they're going to die. Don't tell them that. They probably won't come out of the cage if we do. They're better off with their slicks. No, they actually are. They're better off with their slicks than meeting Abe, the apparent saviour. So, 250 to kill. There's slicks we have to apprehend on this one as well. Yeah, we have to apprehend. So, they're the badges. Explorer, saviour, hidden out. They're straightforward, you know, your secret areas, your royal jellies, and uh, killing the muds. So make sure you look at that trash bin and these two lockers. There's a badge here for opening 20 lockers, but let's finally, well for once, they actually give you more, much more lockers than what you need. We've got one for apprehending the slicks, and one for hitting the slicks with rock candy, with that solidified yummy ball of sugar. We're going to knock them out of it. So loot all the lockers, you'll get plenty of tape. Detergent, you don't really need smoke screens, but we take it anyway. There's a rock candy. Yeah, tape, you get plenty of tape on this, by the way, guys. You get, honestly, you get so much. They've just lobbed it on us. Loads of cellar tape. So there's the first mud. Yeah, there's four that you can actually recruit, and then the rest 200 and so are in the background. You know, the escape sequence. But what I do, I get its attention. Um, I make this mud follow me, get the sleek's attention, then make him stay, make sure he's set to aggressive. And then let Le Slick kill him. They go up and down the pipes, as you know. And then we're going to tie him up with some sellotape. He'll never break free. So I'm going to craft Bouncy Candy. Remember, there's a trophy for crafting each item. We've got plenty of time. It's not like you have to craft it now. But let's get it out of the way while we've got the materials. And we don't really need them on this one. All you really need is your rock candy and your tape on this one. When you're trying to um, kill them, anyway. When you rescue them, it's a completely different story. So there's a slick, we're going to knock him out with some rock candy. I did use bouncy candy there, I shouldn't have, I should have used bouncy candy. Um, but rock candy, sorry, mixing up the names, but don't matter too much. For the rock candy badges, by the way, you can easily just manipulate that by throwing it at a slick, then pause for a second so he recovers stamina, lob one again, pause for a second to recover stamina. And just keep doing that, literally you could do it on the same slick over and over. So that's easy. But I tied him up. I'm going to get his attention, I'm going <laughs> to tease him, and then make him stop in the firing line. That was cheeky and cruel, but it had to happen. These badges are more important. What are the trophies? So that slick, obviously, tried to come down when he's not looking. Then I'm going to sneak up there and knock him out, tie him up, pickpocket him, all in that order. I'm going to pickpocket the pocket, then put them in my pocket. Checkpoint. Yes, careful, you don't jump into his line of sight. They can only see within a sort of 60 degree arc in front of their eyes. Remember that. They're sort of a little bit blind. So tie them up and then we'll get that royal jelly. Can you see it? The little flashy yellow thing. Oh, I pickpocketed him already. Alright, look at this. I can bounce off walls. Wow. I'm getting good at that. As if I've never done that before. Okay, so um, yes, I have already pickpocketed him, Abe. I've got no tape left, so I'm just thinking now, what am I going to do? But don't worry, you get plenty of tape and you can just come back and tape them up later. By the way, this level, you can backtrack all the way back through it. Even if you go all the way to the top to leave, you can actually come all the way back down and back up again. So you can come all the way back through. Don't worry, we will tape them up. So some lockers here. That's 10 out of 20. 10 out of 20. And by the way, if you just tape up every... Yeah, there's a trash bin there. If you just tape up every slick you come across, you won't actually get enough. You actually have to trigger some to spawn in through the spawners later on. 
yeah, loot these lockers. And if you don't, if you don't tape up any slicks when the people, are, the muds are escaping, then no more will spawn. You have to actually tape them up while they're escaping to make the other spawn in. So lockers here, you need the copper triangle, which you should have. And do not ask me exactly where we got it in case you haven't. I don't remember, but when we went through this, we did get it. Copper triangle, you normally get square round triangles in that order. So triangle was, I think it's on Fat Station actually. I think it's the first league you come across that's sleeping on Fat Station. I think that's where the silver triangle is. So we've got a doggies here. So obviously sneak, stealth is of the utmost importance. It is. Please believe my words. I will not say if it wasn't true. Honest. Loot that locker. Yes, see 20 out of 20 lockers already. And there's still loads more to loot. Yes, I've been really generous with that badge. For once. Trash bin again. Detergent. Don't need it. But the empty bottles may come in handy. So you get a bit more money. This is apparently a secret area. I don't know why. It doesn't look like a secret. But okay. We'll have it. Amplifier. Use them to craft super... Monkey buying bombs, the super thingies. That's what you use. So buy a battery, recycle some empty bottles. You see it just come up? IED super stun mine. Yes, you can craft that now. Royal jelly, make sure you grab it. And uh, let's pull a lever. Get the fuck out of this dark cave. Yes, it's a bit of a leak in there. I don't know what's leaking. Water? The pipe's going to cross the top. I guess it is a mine. So secret area, that's your second out of two secret areas. So that's all the secret areas found. Well done guys, pat yourself on the back. I would do, but um, two meter distance, remember. Okay, so up here, got a tape now. So just gonna tape this sucker up. He thought he was safe. Nothing is safe for me and my sellotape. Beware the sellotape bandit. That is me. Okay, so down here, too much, but first I'm gonna, well, Okay, we'll turn them with me. We'll pull the lever first. It takes about 30 minutes for the lift to come down. And then up here, while we're waiting, get the royal jelly. There it is. Halfway already. That's a quick 15 minutes. Okay, so got all the royal jellies. And that locker there, you need a gold... I can't quite... Is it gold square? I can't quite see on my little mini school screen. In eeny weeny screen. But gold triangle and... What the gold triangle locker... No, sorry, gold square. What they let you get on this level, they let you get a flamethrower eventually, but it's not until the sort of the last escape sequence section where you finally get the last material, I think it's light or something. So, and obviously all it's, used, all it's good for is getting rid of slicks quickly, so you don't really need it. It would be helpful if you got it at the start of the level, but no, the time you get it and actually craft it, it's near enough the end of the level, so... That's a complete waste. There's only one time when the lock is coming really useful. I mean, this one they do, the bouncy, we've got the bouncy binding candy. So I'm just crafting anything I can new, like IED Super Stun Mine. That's a new thing we've crafted. Yeah, like the bouncy binding candy is coming in handy now. And there's one level fat station where you can get flamethrower quite early on. But we can never kill anybody. So it's a bit annoying. I'd love to go through levels just burning fucking everything, just roasting everything to a crisp. But we can't do that because that stupid trophy complete the game, killing less than 100 slicks. What a stupid trophy. You know what? I'll never be getting another Odd World game. I don't think the amount of bugs this is released with, unless they can prove me different. But I'll never buy another one on release. Let's put it that way. Right, so... You know what I said earlier? That you don't quite get enough slicks and you're going to have to cause some to spawn again. And they only spawn when the muds are escaping. If they've already got to the next area, no more will spawn. Even if you make loads of noise, scream your head off. So what we're doing, I'm just going to... On this first section, I'm just going to keep taping up the enemies. Don't worry if some muds get shot. Just want to keep binding the enemies. We need to keep them spawning. And I actually get one extra bind, I think. For the challenge, for the badge. So keep binding them. Oh, what a fucking waste. Yeah, try not to waste your bouncy binding candy. Very valuable, guys. There we go. Another one. And we'll get that one as well. Just keep taping them up. If you run out of candy, bouncing binding candy, BBC. If you run out of BBC, 
just obviously knock them out and take them up. Use rock candy to knock them out because you need to hit some with rock candy anyway. That's it, another one quickly. Tape them up. It's a shame they take so long to spawn in again once you tape one up. But that one on the top left can spawn four or so. And it looks like that's it. It looks like that's it, no more gonna spawn. So yes. So this first section, just keep taping up the enemy, guys. I'll let you know in a second exactly how many. Obviously more lockers here, trash bins. Okay, I was too quick. But I think I'm on 17 or something. I see. I was too quick, but as, as long as you were taping up all the slicks there and you didn't have any breaks in between, just kept lobbing the band. Lob the binding candy first so it's quicker because you need to spawn them new ones as quick as you can before obviously time runs out. So you spawn them all, take them up, and from now on, guys, we're going we're gonna to leave their slicks and let them kill those muds. Yes, collateral damage it's going to be. So I'm just going to get a few things from a locus. You can do this after, or, or pull a lever, and quickly do it before the slick spawn. But obviously these two muds need to get killed, that's why I brought them with us. So I'm just going to leave them there, and once the muds have finished, they should turn on them too. Yeah, so, too quick again. Maybe you saw, guys, you can pause. I can't, I can pause, but because I'm doing post commentary, if I pause, I've got to bloody change everything and then copy some things across. So I'm just going to hide in a locker and wait now. Let the muds die. Just going to wait. Yeah, so I just bought some, uh, what's it called again? My, I can't remember the name of that bomb. Oh, fizzy bombs, that's what they call. Yeah, fizzy bombs. So just going to hide in a locker. Pick my nose, whatever. Nobody can see, so don't worry about it. Just do what, do what you got to do, guys. Nobody can see what you're doing. So let them kill them all. They should get most of them. With the number of what mods are killing, I've had I've had times when 50 have survived, even when the thing is this time right now, yeah, this time. Normally in the first section, I normally let I normally leave all the things, let them kill all the mods, and then I normally do that in every section, by the way. And then I realised you can't because you can't apprehend enough, then you have to let some spawn out in order to apprehend enough. So once I started apprehending them in that first section, I only get about 15 that get to safety. But when I've just let them constantly shoot them, I've had about 50 saved. I don't know why, it's a, it varies quite a bit. So even though I've got 14 saved, you may have a different amount, guys. So just bear that in mind. And you need to be careful here, because obviously they're all on high alert. Yes, the muds have been killed. Good riddance. Yeah, we're all on high alert shit like that so be careful what I'm gonna do I was gonna hide in a locker and let the slicks come to me these two down here obviously you've got the one in the middle he's come down on this little um, fireman's pole and the one on the right there I was gonna hide in a locker let him run past me then pop out knock him out and then tape him out and uh, yeah so back in locker Abe yeah back in that smelly locker I bet it stinks. Bet it fucking stinks in there. Yeah, we know Abe. It's alright. I won't be not. I will not be going in there. Here he comes. Shh, be quiet. And he won't hear us. <laughs> Peekaboo. Always want to say Peekaboo. Always. Okay, there we go. Taped him up. Right, let's get these guys now. So I'm going to take the two at the top first. And I'll get these lockers. Have I looted them? I think I have. Well, that was a bad throw. Right, let's knock him out and get these two at the top quickly. There we go. We've done the rock candy badge, guys. Very, very well done. Well done. So pickpocket these quickly and tape. And then do this to the other one. Look how much tape we're getting. You get so much tape on this one. I wish it was like this on uh, level two. And uh, is it level three? We have tape in as well. And you just have enough. Right, so we've got them. Now we're going to move on to this guy. And then we'll see how much we've apprehended. I think I only need one more now. 19. I know where it is. It's bottom right hand corner badge. So as soon as I open the menu, bang, I'm going to read it straight away. So up the lift. 19 out of 20. Yes, yeah, stick apprehender. So before this moment, this section, we had got 15. And now we've got 19. And there's three slicks that spawn here, I think it is. So we've got two extra. 
So as long as you've done what I did on that first section, guys, you should have more than enough to apprehend. You should have more than enough. All right, so yeah, you've got a trash bin here. Lock it if you need them, but we're about done now. This is the last part of the level. So I'm just gonna pull that lever, hide in lockers, wait once it all got to safety or kill them all. Now pop out and uh, tape them all up. See, there's another locker there, guys. Gold square. There's one on. You got one on the bottom. Then you got each escape section. You got one. So I think there's four lockers all together with a gold square lock. And like I say, now it's normally when you get last material for a fire extinguisher. So basically, right at the end when you don't need it. You get it. I don't know why. I don't know. Odd Will's thinking. Obviously, they don't think right, do they? I mean, well, they released the game in this state, so I don't want to think how they think. Okay, <laughs> we taped him up, and we'll head up here. But honestly, it does make you think. They must think the way they think about how we're releasing things to us and what we like, what we don't like. Obviously, they think it's good practice to release a game in the state. It's not Odd World. If anyone's listening to this, you're not. But um, it's a buggy mess. So that's it. We've apprehended enough. I'm seeing if I can craft anything else which we haven't crafted once yet in the game. Remember, a trophy for crafting everything. Okay, and this is it. Yeah, this is it, guys. So we've done all the badges except for Saviour. Every single one. Well done. You murderer. Mass genocide. All them muds we killed. But it's all for the greater good. Remember, always for greater good. We're going to save them when we come back. We killed them to save them again later. And get a trophy. All for the greater good. Oh, watch out for that rail. Watch out, Abe. Oh, careful, mate. How can you do that? You're just going up on the lift. Okay, yeah. I was just having a bit of fun there. I thought it was funny. Abe knocking himself out on a little tiny lift. So that's it guys. Level 8 reunion at Old Trellis. Yes we're done. We'll just have a look at the um, results screen at the end. End of level screen. Check we're all on track. So get that trophy. Captured the train. Yes we captured it. And this is the badges. So we rescue 13. Remember to take a screenshot so you've got a track of how many muds you've killed so far. So saviour. Yeah, we've done them all except for saviour. And remember, take a screenshot of muds killed. Very important, guys, because when it comes to getting the, the trophy for killing a thousand muds and completing the game, I'm going to have to check my kill count before because you may, we may be a little bit different. I may have killed 10 more than you, or you may have killed 10 more than me. And I may have to go in another level, which I wasn't planning on. Just because, like I say, sometimes on these escape levels, it can be hard to predict exactly how many are going to get to safety. So, just bear that in mind. No, it's a good idea to take a picture. It is a good idea. Right, so thanks for watching, guys, on that one. And I'll see you on the next video.